Some of you learned to do this in school. Some of you probably did but forgot, and some of you maybe never did. Um, anyway, I have a student, an OTA student, and I'm going to teach her how to make a simple, simple switch toy or to adapt a toy to become a switch toy. So I'm gonna show you how to do it too. Here's what you need. You need the Radio Shack speaker wire. I mean, it doesn't have to be Radio Shack, but anyway, it's speaker wire, okay? And what speaker wire is, is once you see the two different colors, you gotta split that and then use a sharp knife to expose the wire. You'll see what that looks like in a minute after uh, on something that I've already done it to. And then you need this circuit board, which might look really big in this video. It's really not that big. It's probably the size of like a half a sheet of paper in real life. You need a soldering device, soldering tool, and you need some solder. And you're gonna need some little something that's gonna allow you to strip your speaker wire because it's encased in a thick plastic coating. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna break off a piece of the circuit board. That one hasn't been out of the package, but this is some that I took out a while ago. Okay, now the size of what you break off is gonna depend on how big the battery compartment of a toy, the toy that you wanna put it in is. But don't, don't break off a giant piece. All right, so what I've done here, let me show you the other side first, is I've stripped the speaker wire and I've separate, I've teased out the two different sides of the wire, okay? So in this part, that's what I've done down here too, but I've got it soldered on both sides of the circuit board material. So then what you're gonna do, this toy just happens to be my victim for this demonstration, it is the bed bug game. But I was looking for a toy that I could use to demonstrate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the piece right here that you've taken apart and soldered to that positive part where the battery, for the, where the positive part of the battery connects. Now, bear with me, I'm one-handed. And my hand is all scratched up from a kitten. Okay. All right, here we go. Now. Now on the other end of this, mind you, I've got this teased out two pieces of the speaker wire. Now when they touch, it activates the toy. Okay, so now the world is up to you. The world is your oyster, so to speak. So when these two parts of this wire make contact, It activates. So, you've heard of a notebook switch. Behind me, you'll see some notebooks that I've played with in the past. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape the top side onto the top part of the notebook, the bottom side onto the bottom part of the notebook. There will be some natural separation there. Then, when the child touches it, these two pieces will meet. Now on the inside of your notebook, you might have to finagle around a little bit and make sure that they're lining up appropriately. Oh, my kitten is back there dragging off the bag. Anyway, I just thought I would show you guys how simple this is to do. And although I'm using this toy, this could be used with a lot of just simple toys that, um, I mean, if you're going to use a toy that has a lot of different, you know, one switch to light up, one switch to sing, the ABCs, one switch to say the alphabet, you, we're getting into some really complex stuff there. This is in the most simplest terms. So hopefully this helps somebody. kitten seems to like it. I'm going to make another video that's very similar to this on how to use, how to connect a toy to an actual, like a Big Mac switch. But that'll be a separate video. I hope this was helpful.